absolutely and totally yes guys welcome back guys to my channel so many of you and most of you are looking for a great profitable trading strategy that you can use from day to day basis but guys you are forgetting one thing okay the first thing that we need to know when we look at the charts okay when we look for trading opportunities first and the most important thing we need to know is the trend hey what's up guys The actual trend or to where the actually this particular asset or the security or doesn't matter what you trade, okay? We need to know the first of all before we jump into any strategies. Where is the trend? Is the trend? There's only two ways of trends. Is it is it is the trend going upwards or is the trend going downwards? You know, uh, so uh, in this video, guys, I'm going to show you, share you, and demonstrate you one of the best and easiest tactics that we, you know, and one of the, you know, uh, fastest ways you can identify the trend on any chart, you know, uh, which will help you to identify, you know, uh, first of all, the trend, and then uh, we will be able to use that trend for our own benefit to make profitable trades every single day. But guys, so make sure you watch this special video until the end because uh, you know this is this is this is this is this is really really powerful tool, guys. If you are able to identify the trend, always remember, trend is your friend. Yes, and always be friend with that trend because it's gonna make you profit. So let's begin. So always remember, guys. Okay, so it's not about finding the best profitable strategy. Okay, there are many profitable strategies. None of them is the best. They're all different, okay? Because every single of us has different training style and different training preference. Please stop searching for that best strategy. There is no best, but there are really, really many great ways where we can, you know, tackle these trades. So let's begin. So how can we do this, okay? How to always know your stop loss and take profit levels by identifying the trend. So this is the thing we're gonna do, guys. Okay? The two, the best methods, guys, okay? Two. Best methods, uh, well, uh, in my opinion, in my training experience, uh, are the first one is the 2 EMA and the second one is 200 EMA. So first we're gonna take a look at the first one and then we're gonna take a look at the second one. And actually, let's, let's start from the beginning, let's start from the second one, okay? Right, so let's do it, okay? So, uh, 200 EMA. So what the hell is 200 EMA? Guys, okay, so they, they, well, it's, it's, it's really, really great exponential moving average line. EMA stands for exponential moving average. 200 is the length period for that line. So what the hell is this? It's just one single line. But that one single line is gonna tell us is the mark, if the markets are going up or if the markets are going down. So let's begin, okay? Let's do how to do it really simply. Uh, what This is a, a charting, free charting solution that you can use. This is not the charting solution that you need to use. If you don't want to use, you can use any charting solution of your choice. You can use any broker of your choice and any broker's platform of your choice, okay? Uh, because we are all analyzing the same thing, Japanese candlesticks, okay? So don't overcomplicate your trading. Uh, so, uh, again, the, you know, now. So 200 EMA, how to place it? So click on indicators and simply click on uh, search for EMA. A moving average exponential click once and then when you click on that we need to edit it so edit it click on this uh, click on this uh, settings option thing and click on the style you can color it pink you know any color that you want it does not matter it will not it will not have any impact of your of your analysis uh, as long as you can see it, uh, I'm about to get it dark, so let's put it in dark. Yeah, let's put it in dark. So an input is going to be 200 and click on OK. So what we have now, we have this line on, 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 on our charts right here. Uh, so so for newbie traders who will think, what the hell is this? What are you talking about? Guys, this is a very, very powerful line. Okay, so this is now we have 200 EMA, which is this EMA. And basically speaking, okay, uh, by the book, okay, in, 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 you can, you know, if the price if the candlesticks are, uh, you know, trending above the moving average, then it's considered that the price is going up. So it's bullish. So it's having a bullish momentum, bullish pattern. Okay. So only look uh, to buy as price is above 200 EMA. So whenever you see candlesticks playing below the EMA, 200 EMA, the markets are going down. 
whenever you see vice versa kind of uh, you know break breaking out and playing uh, uh, and you know being uh, above the 200 EMA like here the markets are considered to go up and this is exactly what's happening you know uh, look at the candles guys and I'm not just talking about some one minute time frame guys this is a daily time frame this is a really this is one of the most important time frames for day traders okay let me delete this and let's take a look at the four hour time frame and let's see how it's gonna uh, look like so four hour time frame is gonna show you the fake outs okay and what we see we see that beautiful okay look at this how beautiful it's playing out you know see the, uh, uh, the here the price is below the market's going down boom look what happened uh, yesterday yes yesterday the price broke up to the uh, up to the bullish side and we can actually see when it happened it actually happened yesterday at two o'clock this candlestick broke out and from this point forward price is going up so now this point alone we can consider as our what yes support it means what yes it means that for all of the buy trade for all of the buy trades our stop loss level always should be a little bit uh, above a little bit you know close and a little bit above our uh, support okay because this is our support and look guys we're not even we're not talking about you know we didn't even place our support resistance corridors but we can see that this is exactly how the candles explained out based on our support resistance right and based on our 200 EMA okay so the 200 EMA guys is so fantastic you know and undervalued so this is how you can do it so any so now the price is a bullish price is going up when it comes to euro and JPY pair uh, so this is how you can use it okay so we can talk about take profit and stop loss just after the, at the end of this video now well, let's take so and guys the vice versa for the sale so for the sale you make sure that the price is playing you know below below the EMA as you can see it's below the EMA all this time look at this wow all this time and uh, yeah and whenever you see whenever you see the breakout let me just zoom in whenever you see you see these breakouts okay so breakouts when the price breaks out about 200 EMA that's the position okay when the price is starting to become bullish again or vice versa uh, you know for bearish trends so this is how you can use this to identify the trend. Now the next thing you can identify the trend is my favorite. The 200 EMA is not my favorite. Uh, because my favorite is 2 EMA trading strategy, okay, to identify your trends uh, and, and to set your stake, stop loss take profit levels, which we're gonna talk at the end of this video. So the second my favorite way is this. Put, uh, put two exponential moving average lines, again indicators, put in uh, moving out is exponential, we need two of them. One will be red and the length will be 180. We are slashing here by half. Then click on OK. And the second will be, again, click on settings, click on style. Second will be blue. And the second put at the length of 365 because it's going to be one whole year. And now, Whenever, so now in this trending strategy, uh, in this strategy, you know, tra this tra trend identification strategy, whenever we see, whenever the red line is above blue line, it means the price is going up. It means that it's in a bullish trend. The price is going up and going north. So we should only place buy orders whenever we see that thing happening. As you can see, it happened exactly in here, the crossover. Red below blue means that from this point forward, and the price is going up and this is exactly what happened and the vice versa for the bearish if the blue is above red it means that the price is going down it means we should only look for the selling opportunities from this crossover onwards this is my favorite way because this is really really because you know it's really really accurate and if, whenever you can see this this uh, crossover that's our best indication for the trend directions okay and uh, yeah so that's how we can use this and uh, yeah, always guys, please remember, you know, uh, always remember your buy stops and buy limits and sell stops and sell limits, okay, because uh, we don't want to make our trades based on the market price, right? We always want to make sure that we, when we enter the market, for example, trade, create order, replacing either, you know, buy stop or buy limit or sell stop and sell limit. Uh, so please remember to please watch my previous video regarding this because you know about the orders 
Uh, but when it comes to stuff, you know, or if you need help, guys, regarding the orders, please email me, okay? Now, for the buy orders, your stop loss should be where? Yes. So for the buy orders, your stop loss should be below next major support. So for example, if I buy here, I know that this is my resistance. I'm just generalizing, okay? This is right here. So this, I know that this. I'm talking about this section here. So if I, for example, buy here, if I buy here, I know that this is my support and this is my resistance. Here we go. This is my support. So if I buy here, okay, and the price goes here. I know that this is my resistance. So my stop loss should be a little bit below my my support. Where is my support? My support is here, so my stop loss should be below the next support, which is here, around this area, okay, around this, around this area. So for now, it's just simply zoom in, guys, okay, don't overcomplicate the trading, just zoom in, and when you zoom in, you can actually see, you see how the price bounced, so the stop loss should be around this area, so 123.10, 123.10, okay. So, the, for the sale orders, your stop loss should be where? For the sale orders, your stop loss should be a little bit above next resistance. Should be above next resistance. Let me make this nice and clear, okay? So, where is it? So, for example, if I was going to place a sale trade, where? Here, okay, okay, based on the strategy, sale trade here, so the trend goes down. So for the sale trade, so for the sale trade, again, you can see the resistance right here, uh, and my support is here. Okay, again, there are multiple support levels here, but for the sale, uh, if I was selling from here, so where should be my stop loss? A little bit above the resistance. Where is my resistance? It's here, R. This is my resistance. So my stop loss, SL, should be a little bit above that. So uh, if my resistance is uh, 121.074, a little bit above that, as you can see, this, there was a little spike. 121.331 should be my stop loss level. Okay. Uh, and for the buy orders, your take profit level, okay. So for the buy orders, guys, the take profit level should be, she should know this only guys, but the buy orders, when you buy your take profit should be, where is the buy order gonna stop? So guys, if, the, if you place buy order, it means you will make money only if the price goes up. It's going up, when it's going up, when it, will it stop to go up? You know when it's gonna stop, we all know when it's gonna stop. The price always stops to go up at the next resistance, so your your take profit should be not that resistance because it's gonna bounce back down a little bit below that, okay? Because it's gonna touch that and it's gonna bounce back. So a little bit below the next resistance should be okay. Should be around the next resistance. And I mean, what do you mean by a little bit? Look at the hourly charts, like I've shown you in one other videos, okay? Or you know, and for the sale orders. So for the sale orders, your take profit should be. So in the sale order, if you make a sale order, where the price is gonna stop to go down at next support, right? Yes. So above next next support on uh, now on what time frames? On uh, four hour and daily time frames. Make sure they you know that you know they confirm. Here we go guys. If you learned what I just told, uh, told you just a few minutes ago, you can make a you know killer strategy by this alone, but uh, but you know but please remember this guys, you know. Uh, yeah so and I'm talking about well, I'm talking about daily chart and four hour chart. Boom! Thank you guys for watching this video. Please please like and subscribe, trade safely, trade responsibly if you need help in trading. 
you're always welcome to email me and contact me. Yes, guys, thank you for watching this video. Please like, subscribe. Uh, yeah, guys, and please, if you want to get your free ebook, please go to my website, incommentorbox.com, and you're gonna see the pop up, and you're gonna get free ebook download from that pop up completely for free, you know, where you can learn about the different trading strategies on my, on my blog. Thank you, guys. Don't overcomplicate your trading, trade safely, and see you again next time. Bye bye.